previously on Dragon Quest Builders. We have now totally finished the base. I've done the roofing. It kind of reminds me of an old man. The red bits on the side remind me of like the sidebands and then the top bits remind me of like little strands of hair like just sticking up. <laughs> I have named my town Multiville. I wonder if the next area is like lava then or something like that because if it has rock bomb fragments that's what we need. Well, we're gonna go have a look now. We're gonna have a look. Just a little peek. Hello uh, and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. I had a really strange dream about this game last night. I've not long woke up, so it's kind of like fresh in my mind, but I kind of mixed two games together, I think. But anyway, in my dream, I was building a room and then all of a sudden when I like looked round to have a look at my room, it was like the walls were all hairy. It was like dark brown and I think it's because I've been playing Attack on Titan and on there I've been like fighting a giant gorilla man, like this big monkey thing and I can only guess that I've just like merged the two games together in my dream. It was really, really weird. <laughs> Anyway, I've been talking to some other characters and some of them have some pretty funny dialogue options. I want to talk to this guy. I want to see if he has the same one. I think it is. Cool, that new girl, Sherry. She's a proper peach, isn't she? Speaking of juicy fruits, have you had a go at planting any plumberry seedlings yet? Them seedlings you get when you cut down a tree. If you plant them inside your base, they'll eventually grow into full-sized trees. Other plants you can dig up with a shovel. That way you can plant them again instead of breaking them up into materials. Good tip, good advice. I might not look it, but I've got a soft spot for gardening. This city will be a lot nicer to live in with a bit more natural colour. <laughs> you wouldn't have thought it, would you? A guy like this being really into gardening. Can't judge a book by its cover, right? Say, how about building this place a flower garden? A nice little courtyard with trees and flowers and a little pond. I reckon that would be just lovely. I would love to build a little pond as well, but I don't see a way of building like water blocks or like getting water blocks. I don't know how to get water just yet. Maybe if you dig down far enough, but I'm not really sure. Maybe another time, maybe when we unlock more stuff. Oh yeah, I've got some more armour. My armour's changed. I now have full plate armour. The bunny rabbits dropped a new material that I've never seen before. You know when we go through the green teleporter. Yeah, I was exploring a little bit in there and I got some finest fur and I also got some rock bomb shards which we need to make the bomb things, whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. What are they called? I also built the walls up a little bit more because the walls went all the way to the top of the ceiling which I didn't realise until just now. <laughs> what does he say again? Uh, wrecking balls, that's it. We need to build wrecking balls for the next part of the story. And I was exploring in through the green teleporter a little bit and I found a quest through there as well. So that's what I want to do before we do anything because I can actually make quite a few rock bombs now. But we didn't actually kill any of the rock bomb little monsters together. So I thought we would do that as well on the way. If we see any rock bombs, we will kill them on the way. I have killed a few. And I can say that if you are in the range when they self-destruct, they will one hit KO you if you are in the zone when they self-destruct. They're like bombs from Final Fantasy. <laughs> they just like get bigger and bigger and bigger and then they explode. Apart from these ones like start chanting and then you have to kill them quick. Either kill them quick or run away. <laughs> That's the strategy I found out. <laughs> but yeah, I found some kind of quest down here somewhere. It was like a little slime and he has some kind of quest. So I'm excited to do that. I put a little, what do you call them, the little globes? I put a little globe near it so I know where to go. So there we go, I killed a bunny and he dropped some fur. So these bunnies must be like a different breed or something. Not entirely sure. I did have a go at killing the chimeras too, but it seems like they drop the same thing. They just drop chimera wings. Oh, that one dropped some steak. That was nice. I'm like completely obsessed with this game. <laughs> I don't know why. I've never been obsessed with a game like this for a very long time. So it's quite... It's quite strange. Oh look, there's a rock bomb. All right, let's go and kill the rock bomb. But we have to be really quick. So once he starts chanting, we just have to, there he goes, we have to keep going. Okay, I'm backing off, I'm backing off, I'm backing off. I don't think I'm gonna make it in time and I didn't wanna die. These bombs are dangerous. Okay, oh look, some ruby dropped from that. 
here some ruby drops so you can actually get ruby sometimes from these little bits i've been in a couple of caves as well but none of the caves have had anything good in them in this area from what i found anyway but yeah you really need to be careful of those rock bombs they are lethal right where am i going stupid slimes you see they stopped me from attacking the rock bomb but that's why i failed it's all the slimes fault it's not my fault i swear to god it's the slimes it's their fault all right there's another rock bomb here i'm gonna try and kill this one we will kill one together guys i swear to god we will i'm not i'm not gonna chicken out this time oh i got a crit as well so this should be this should be a win Come on, come on. Yeah, we got one. Awesome. I love the way they break up into little pieces and they're like purple inside. I think that's really cool. I think we're almost to the slime quest. So I'm just going to head on over there now. So you can see my green globe just over there. It's in this area with all the trees. I have actually arrived. We are here. I'm oozeless. Oh, the slimes are always so depressed. Oh my god, what's that? I've never seen that kind of slime before. That's a new breed of slime. That's a steel slime, isn't it? I've seen these in Dragon Quest Heroes. Come back here. I remember they're like really slippery. Come here. Come here. Yes! We got a splatter of silvery sludge. Ooh, I wonder what that is used for. I reckon those things must be like kind of rare. They were rare in Dragon Quest Heroes. And in that game, when they appeared, they used to give like a load of XP, a bucket ton of XP, and you'd get like loads of level ups and stuff. So that was really cool. But you'd hardly ever see them. They're like rare, like a little rare species. This slime, what he's saying, reminds me of Helix. He always says that. I'm oozeless. Okay, let's talk to him and see if we can cheer him up. Wow, it's a human slurp. Oh my god, he actually like talks like Helix too. Helix would slurp. He always goes... <laughs> <laughs> my name's Splatrick. What's yours? Like Patrick, but Splatrick. <laughs> Malty, what a great name. You look really kurgoozig too. That was really weird to say. <laughs> Not like me. To tell the truth, Malty, I'm actually a really oozeless slime. Oh, I really like humans and I want to be friends with them. Oh, you can be my friend. But when I told my slime friends, they said I was a bad monster and a traitor to the dragon lord. Oh, to the dragoon lord, he said. There was two O's in that. And now they're not my friends anymore and they bully me all the slime. Oh no, watch out, Malty. The nasty slimes have come to get me. All right, I'll protect you. I'll protect you. All right, we've got orange slimes, blue slimes, all different kinds of slimes. All right, you know what would work really good? If they'd let me do it. No, nah, they're not going to let me do it, but a spinning splice would be awesome, but they keep interrupting me. See, so like, you need, like, casting time to use that move, which is kind of annoying because uh, you can get interrupted by the monsters. Yeah, we did it, Splatrick. I saved you. I saved you. Wow, Multi, that was amazing. You splattered those slimes like it was nothing. Thanks for rescuing me. There are lots of scary monsters around here, so I'll be careful, okay? Well then, Multi, I suppose this is goodbye. No! What? You've built a great city? And you'll let me live there too? Really, really, really? Oh, that's so cool! I want a little slime friend. Gooray! Thank you, Multi. Alright then, let's get going! Okay, oh look, we got a little slime. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love the little slimes. I loved Helix. Helix was my favorite character in Dragon Quest Heroes. So I'm so happy about this. All right, let's return to base with our new little friend. This is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see, um, I, can't, I don't know. I wanna build him his own little slime room, <laughs> but I don't have my slime blocks. The slime blocks are exclusive to, well, look, they're like, he's like, hmm, what is that? <laughs> Hello there, hooray, a new friend. Ooh, who's this then? Uh, brilliant work. It's only LaRoche who's like, hmm, this looks suspicious. <laughs> okay, let's talk to him. Wow, this place looks great. Did you build this whole town yourself? Indeed I did. But Malty, you know I'm a monster, right? Are you sure it's alright for an oozeless slime like me to live here? Yeah, it's fine. You're lovely. You're a lovely slime. Huh? We're friends? You'll really be my friend? Gooray! Thank you, Multi. You don't know how grateful I am. 
<laughs> I want to make friends with all the people in your town. I'm going to talk to everyone right away. He's going to go and talk to everyone. Yeah, but you're going the opposite direction. What? Why are you going in my well? What are you doing on my well? What the hell? That was weird. Hello, Morty. This town of yours is full of so many cur curious characters. How do you say that? Curious, I think. Like Ooze, that man with the shiny head. And why doesn't he wear a shirt? I don't know. And that boy dressed like a shoulder. Why does he act so suspicious, Oozly? He does. And I wonder why the man in the green robes always acts like he's in charge. I want to be best friends with all the people here. It's going to be so much fun. It's a shame that the slime joined so late into the game. I wanted him like at the beginning, at the start. That would have been awesome. Oh well, what can you do? He's my favourite and he's the last to join. <laughs> he's my favourite already. Alright, so because we destroyed the rock thingies, we can now build the wrecking balls, so we're going to make 20 wrecking balls because I did do some off camera as well, that's why I've got so many. just want to see, no we can't build no more, so awesome, this is too good. That's incredible Malty, you made the wrecking balls just like I told you. Of course! I don't have the power to build and neither did the man who invented them. So nobody's ever actually been able to build one until now, but I knew you could do it. You're the legendary builder after all. Multi, my friend, the golem is coming for us. I know it. Oh God, if we defeat him, we'll bring back the light to this land. But if we fail, Cantlin will be pounded into dust once again. I hope the wrecking balls will be of some help to you in that final battle. And I pray to the goddess that you emerge victorious. Oh, and by the way, they say that golems built like a brick outhouse. If I were you, I'd build at least 20 wrecking balls before I even thought about taking him on. I have built 20 actually, exactly 20. Another seed of life, awesome. All right, we must be super close to the big boss battle. I'm excited for it, I must say, I am excited for it. All right, I got seed of life, let's use that. Now we should be on 110 life, God, that is so cool. So we've got quest here. Oh hello Multi. I don't know if you've noticed but everyone's been acting really nervously recently. I asked Rolo what was going on and he told me a ginormous monster's going to attack us at any moment now. <laughs> now she's going to be worried. All I want to do is build a city where we can all live together in peace. So why did it have to end up like this? I don't know. Multi, that monster that's going to attack us is really powerful isn't it? Um, I know I shouldn't be bothering you at a time like this, but I'm really scared that somebody's going to get hurt. Which is why I was wondering, could you make some medicinal herbs for me? Just five pouches? Please, Multi, if you do me this favour, I won't ask you for anything ever again, I promise. Hold on a minute, is that- It is! You've got the pouches of medicinal herb I asked for. These are my herbs, <laughs> so can I have them? Ah, oh, fine. Take my herbs. To tell the truth, I made two pouches myself, so that makes seven pouches in all. And they're all for you, Multi. Oh, really? Oh, okay. That just changes things. What? If I was going to give them to you, why did I ask you to make them for me? Well, it's just that you've been so busy building rooms and furniture and weapons for everyone else. You haven't been taking any time to look after yourself. So I just wanted you to make something to keep yourself healthy in the last big battle. Ah, how considerate. That is actually kind of nice. Oh, and Multi, do you think you could build that Cantlin shield thing Rolo was talking about too? No matter how horrible the monsters might be, I don't want to have to fight them. But on the other hand, I'd be so sad if the town you worked so hard to build for us got destroyed. So please, Multi, you've got to work out how to build that Cantlin shield and protect our city. Okay, I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna think how to make one. Okay, I got the medicinal herbs. Do I know how to make the shield now? Yep, yes! Cantlin shield, a durable defensive wall that can block any enemy's attack. Any enemy's attack. Ooh, okay. All right, let's see if we can build one. Have we got any more quests or do I just have to build the next thing? Oh, we got one over there by Rolo, okay. I definitely wanna have a little crack at building one of these brick wall things though. Where where do you build them? Like, where are they? There, Cantlin Shield. What the hell, we need a Golemite? Orchulum? Orch I can't say that word, okay? <laughs> I tried. 
So we need stuff that I've never seen before. Maybe the golem bricks. Maybe they're from those like golems you see around the Dandara Desert. I'm sure like I wouldn't be attacking the golem to get his bricks like when he's the final boss. So defenses have been holding up really well. I've not seen a single thing. Nothing has got past, which is absolutely awesome. Anyway, let's go and talk to Rolo. See what he has to say for the next part of the quest. By my booming baritone multi you've done it you've unraveled the secret of the Kentlin shield now we can rebuild the legendary defenses of the city of Kentlin. we will be ready for even the most brutal of assaults we have come so far multi many a sleepless nights have i spent struggling and often falling to decipher the Kentlin chronicle i want to see this book but now our struggles are very nearly at an end go my girl and build the Kentlin shield it is the biggest and boldest bulwark. Bulwark? Isn't that what chocobos say sometimes? Bulwark? Bulwark? <laughs> quee quee! But I'm pretty sure I've seen them say bulwark before as well though. <laughs> Described in the Cantlin Chronicle and will let us weather the coming storm. When you are ready, I will tell you where the materials that go into making a Cantlin shield can be found. Okay, come and speak to me when your loins are good and Girded. All right, guys, I'm going to end the episode here for today. Unfortunately, a big golem fight is coming up soon. I know it. So thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time.